Hi, Musical Seals. Happy Monday. Um, this week, we're talking about going to the beach. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever been to the beach when you were even tinier, and even if you were, you might not remember it. So I'm going to show you some pictures of the beach and some things that we can find on the beach and some things that live in the ocean. Uh, we, were, we were supposed to play with ocean animals, so if you have ocean animal toys at home, I would love if you took them out and played with them, and maybe you can find some animals that are in here in your toys. You know, these are going to be real, real life pictures, real animals, not um, toy animals. And then afterwards, I have a little water play water map toy that I can show you some animals, and we'll find some things that I show you in there. Okay, so first, this right here is a beach. You see the stand right here, and then the ocean, the water. Beach, can you say that? Say beach. Good job. You know, we go to the beach when it's hot outside in the summertime, and we play in the sand, and we swim in the ocean. You can say beach is the English word, or you can say the word in Spanish, which is playa. You go to the playa. Here's the beach. Here's some kids playing on the beach. This is what you guys would do if you went to the beach. You can play in the sand in your bathing suit, you see? He's wearing his little hat to protect him from the sun. He's playing in the sand with his feet and he's gonna, they're probably gonna go and swim in the ocean. It's so much fun. Now, when we go to the beach, this is more what it looks like. You see all these people there's so many people on the beach going out to have fun. They have their umbrellas set up and they're all going to play in the ocean and go swimming. So here, this is, this is what the beach looks like. Now let's see some, some, let's see some things that we can find on the beach, like a sandcastle. Kids and parents, you guys can build the, the sand castle on the beach, or you might even see sand castles that other kids and their mommies and daddies built. And usually you use buckets and you fill it with sand and then you make this castle, or you can just build one with your hands. Use your imagination, it's so fun to build. This is a cool little castle I found. Sometimes we like to decorate our castles with seashells that we find on the beach. See, these are the pretty seashells. And there's so many different kinds of seashells. You see all of them? There's so many. These little ones, they might look familiar. If you've ever had a hermit crab or seen a hermit crab, hermit crabs live inside of these shells. Do you see the hole? A little hermit crab will go in there and he'll make this shell his home. I remember we read a book in another video a couple weeks ago about home for a hermit crab. And we, ta we talked about how the hermit crab was living in his shell and he kept growing out of it and having to go find a new shell. So yeah, this is the seashells that some hermit crabs live in and some are just there. They look pretty. Some don't become homes for hermit crabs, but yeah. Let's see, another thing that we might be able to find on the beach is a crab. Sometimes they come out of the water and you can see a crab walking on the beach. That's so silly. You see his eyes and all his little legs. He's cute, I think. Do you think he's cute? All right. There's some other things you can find on the beach if you can think of any or, or um, you find any other pictures maybe on the internet, you can see what else you can find. Like maybe you can see seaweed that washes up on the, on the beach. Seaweed, yeah. I didn't get a picture of that. All right, so let's look at some things that live in the ocean. I have a bunch of pictures. This one, do you know what these are? Yes, good job. They are fish. 
There are so many different kinds of fish that live in the sea. So, so many. And they all look so different. And then these things down here, they look like plants or bushes, right? Those are called coral. There's so many different kinds of coral as well, and they are alive. Just like the plants on earth, on the land, they're alive. And they're so pretty. All right, who can tell me what this one is? He looks scary, huh? But we sing a song about him or his baby, and we, got, we love this song, right? This is a shark. And we sing Baby Shark all the time. You guys love that song. This is a shark in real life. He lives in the ocean. This one right here, this is a dolphin. Sometimes when you're swimming and you're at the beach or if you have ever been on a boat, sometimes you can see these dolphins, you can see them jumping out of the water just like this. They'll jump out and you can see them and it's so cool to watch. Next, I have some jellyfish. These are so pretty. Miss Courtney thinks jellyfish are one of the prettiest things that live in the ocean. But even though they are so pretty, these can be dangerous. They can sting you, ouch. But that's why we just have to be careful, right? We be careful. But they're so pretty, these are jellyfish. This one is one of the biggest, or the biggest, I'm not sure, the biggest animal in the ocean and his baby. This is a whale. It's a humpback whale. He's so big. Sometimes if you're ever on a boat, you can see them come out of the water too and they have a little below hole in the top where they can spit water out and it goes water right out of their back. And there's a whale. And my last picture I have an octopus. This is another really pretty animal that lives in the ocean. He's called an octopus. The, the part of that word, oct, means eight because he has eight legs. You want to count them with me? We can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back there in the dark, he has eight tentacles. Those are like his legs, but he uses them to swim. They're called tentacles. He is so cool. All right, those are all my animals I have for you today. Maybe you can go through your ocean animals that you have at home, and you can see if you can find any animals that match these pictures. Now I just want to show you my little water play mat. We'll look in here. Let me see the water. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And there's some animals in here that I didn't talk about in my in my pictures, so we can talk about them now. Oh, he won't flip over. This is a starfish. It just looks like a regular old star, huh? There we go. It's a starfish. Now these ones are toys, but you can ask mommy or daddy to go online and show you a picture of a real starfish. That would be cool. Here's a seahorse swimming in the sea. Here's a little crab and a turtle, a sea turtle. Oh, look, here's an octopus. We just talked about the octopus, huh? Here's an octopus. See, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tentacles. Here's a fishy, and then in the background right here, you can see a jellyfish, more octopus, and you can even see some coral. See some coral in the background. Oh, and well, if you look up around here, we have a dolphin, another starfish. Oh, here's a whale. Can you see? Sorry. Here's a whale in here. Oh, and another whale. 
Wow, this is fun. You guys like how this sounds? All the water. It's kind of almost like what waves sound like in the ocean. Not quite, but. All right, I hope that you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about the ocean, and we're gonna keep talking about the, the beach and ocean animals this week, so keep an eye out for what the animals look like during this week, and keep an ear open for the animals' names. Like, you can, you can listen for the word beach, you can listen for sharks, and stuff like that, because I know we have some things planned for this week, and you'll definitely be hearing um, about some of these animals again. All right, and I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.